Lamar Payne gets the start. The transfer from Florida will jump against Javius McKinnis. Fans are back. Basketball is back in Champaign, Illinois, and a season filled with expectation. Brandison. Baseline. There's a bucket of the foul, and the scoring starts in the new season for Jacob Grandis. As Devontae Williams works through that contact he took. Shot clock at 10. Lob inside the pain. Pain using the window. 5-0 Illinois. Totally. And honestly, I, I wonder what the offense is going to look like. Because with Andre Corbello out there and Trent Frazier, it's going to be ball screen heavy. But without those guys, you might have to change yourself a little bit here tonight. Leg injury that kept him out last year. Good injury ended his season early. And oh, the slot from Coleman Hawkins, and then it stays in bounds, and Illinois going the other way. 19 points per game. There is some energy. Williams on the drive. That won't go. Bosman's Verdonk, a little fadeaway. That roll won't fall. Here's Goody for three. Help defense has been outstanding, and honestly, Jackson State hasn't had many good looks at the basket at all. There's their first, really, as working inside finally points on the board. Dylan Taylor breaks the spell. Great job right there, using that rim to shield off Coleman Hawkins. Hawkins looking for a little redemption on this end, and he finds it with the window, his first two points of the season. These last three or four possessions here, Kevin, have been the Coleman Hawkins show. I mean, this is a tough drive and a really tough. There's no doubt about if it's going to happen. It's about when he's going to get to be that all Big Ten type talent. On the bounce, he feeds Plummer and the pull up drop, so give him an assist. Really, his first true off season with the COVID shutdown a year ago. R.J. Melendez oh, inside, and the freshman from Puerto Rico. Evans on the baseline, rejected by Omar Payne. Outstanding three-point shooter, 38% a year ago at Utah. A stumble turns it back over to the Illini. Williams leaving behind. Hawkins, his three falls. What this new look Hawkeye team looks like. No Garza, no Wieskamp, no Frederick, no Jack Nungy. Bucket falls from deep for Jackson State. Hawkins threw it away. Good intercept by James and Jonas. James to the other end with a left hand. He'll go to the line for one more. And for him to now be suspended over something that's not even a rule anymore is a joke, but it, it can help them. Right on cue, just rips the rim off. Well, a month later, the name and image likeness thing went into effect, but because he sold his gear before it did, it violated NCAA rules. Pixel feet inside the turn for McKinnis. That's good, and a foul. Clock at 13 for Darius Hicks. Back it goes to Taylor. Taylor, a little step through. Kick out to James for three, and that one rolls home. First three of the night. Never be talking too much on the floor. You've got to over-communicate and kind of work through some of these things where, where you're just going to be a little bit uncomfortable from the lack of playing together. You hope that that experience can pay off, and now you break through and make that deep run in the NCAA tournament. Well, nice underneath, and a good move by Bosman's for Dong to stretch the lead to 13. off to Ken Evans Jr. Evans has yet to attempt a shot tonight. McKinnis on the baseline and the turnaround falls. McKinnis with Illinois will reset with 10 to shoot. William you, you can just see the Monte against James. Hawkins working against William. Very physical confrontation right there as curling to the basket Grandison. Monte Williams up the floor to Coleman Hawkins. And Hawkins skip pass taken away. 10th Illinois turtle. Evans on the spin. Got the roll. Got to the basket. Showed some really good balance. 
three short. Offensive rebound for Illinois. The lead for Grandison. Terrific feed from Alfonso Plummer. I don't think the score was maybe an indication of how these two teams played, but they have not been scared at all. Nice find on the cut by Dylan Taylor for an easy two. Ends up with the uncontested layup. It's a transfer from Division II Mississippi College. As Grandison hit the paint, he's got 11. And the first player in double figures for either team. Rightfully so. You talk about Caleb Houston as well. Two freshmen who, who can really play to go along with a really solid core from last season's Michigan team. Seven points, seven rebounds in 21 minutes. He averaged a double-double last year. Second in the nation in rebounding. Plummer on the drive with a left hand. Alfonso Plummer curling around for two. He's not going to have to be that guy at all times. And you look at his numbers over the last five games into the Pac-12 tournament last year. And this guy was on fire. 17 points a game, 50% from three. He can score that thing. That was an awkward end to that as Coleman Hawkins' three is short. Bosman's Verdonk with the rebound underneath to DeMonte Williams. Got to get some screening action, some movement, and that just hasn't been there at times for Jackson State. Plummer the skip into the corner. Good find for Hawkins. Hawkins with the three. He's got 11. Illinois and Robbie, here comes the first bold statement of the new college basketball season. This will not be the last time that Coleman Hawkins reaches double figures. And Hawkins with the pounding two-hand flush. He's going to do some of those things, but right now, at times, he's been the lead point guard for this Illini team tonight. Look back to Grandison. His three falls. He's got 14. Jackson State on the push. Trailing on the play, it's Moore. Here's Young, Colty Young's three. Pinballs out and back in. Not supposed to get that roll on the road, especially when you're a freshman. He's going to be a player and showing no fear on the road. It's the number 11 team in the country. Williams in the corner. Malenda, that three will drop for the freshman. Whether it's been in ball screen action or just a simple dribble drive, R.J. Melendez locked and loaded from the corner right there. Two for nine in the first half from three, but in the second half, four of eight from behind the arc for Illinois. Pressure applied, the double team, he's in some trouble, needs some help. Hawkins with the fake, dishes to Grandison, that three rolls home, and Grandison has 17 and a timeout in Champaign. And a pretty good guy in Jordan Bohannon to mentor some of those young guards. Colty Young, you talked about confidence from behind the arc. That's his second in this second half. Anderson into the corner, finds Goody, and Goody finds the range for his second from deep. The freshman exchanging three. Jacob Grandison has been outstanding tonight. And that was a playmaking roll right there. He took off the ball screen. Really good stuff. Look at Young again. Colty Young. Three from deep tonight. Let me see. He, 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 he left his feed and, and could tell immediately that it was not the right decision. McKinnis inside. Pain there to swat it away. I think it's awesome. Chester Frazier is back in Champaign. The guy bleeds orange and blue and was a really good player here for Bruce Weber. You know how coaches are. They want to see this out to the end. And Coleman Hawkins has done a lot of good things tonight. And he showed a ton of ability. But he's getting a little loose with that basketball now. As his average when he leaves tonight, 11 points and 11 rebounds. Hawkins the step back three. That rolls off. Bosman's Verdonk with the offensive board. Good find underneath to Grandison. Williams, the running hook, and Isaiah Williams. Kimski, round to Plummer. Plummer, three. And Plummer's got nine in his Illinois debut. Instead of coming off that that dribble handoff, kind of cuts back and just gets separation. It does not take him much time to get that jumper off. He has got a pretty release. Four key players on the bench tonight for the Illini but they still cruise to a 71-47 win over Jackson State, Illinois. 1-0 to start this very young season.